Gonzaga University hasn't had a football program since 1941. After World War II, they decided to discontinue the program, sadly, due to its financial difficulties prior to the war. Since then, college fans around the country have witnessed Gonzaga turn into a dominant basketball program. But today, the football program is coming back after 82 long years, and the NCAA wasted no time and immediately placed them in Division I FBS. Being thrust into Division I football isn't ideal for a program who hasn't fielded a team for that long, so there will be some challenges that come with it. Since the team literally just got revived, they will start as a 55 overall, and every single player on the roster will be a redshirt senior. They will start as an independent school and once they're above 500, they'll get caught up to the Mountain West. Then once they win the Mountain West two times, they'll get moved up to the Big 12. As for recruiting, they can't recruit any four stars until they win 10 games. They can't recruit any five stars until they reach the Big 12. Not many coaches were thrilled when receiving a phone call to become the new head coach, except for one man. Coach Hugo Bobby wanted nothing more than to take over this dead football program and believes he can win Gonzaga football a national title. Coach Bobby's gotta be happy, dude. We still won two games this year with a 50 overall team. I don't quite know exactly how that happened, but it did. I mean, I scheduled every FCS team possible since we're an independent and it doesn't look like oh we beat Arizona by one that sucks for them we also beat uh FBS generic so not really impressive at all because we lost to, like five FCS schools but at least we got two wins taking a look at our recruiting class so far it's pretty good I'm not gonna lie I'm happy with how things have gone I tried to address as many positions as possible I didn't want to recruit like five wide receivers because everybody's graduating that just would not be a million IQ play right there but I feel like all in all I did a pretty good job sadly though we lost out on Aaron Langford he's going to Colorado out of state definitely unfortunate because he'd be the second best commit in our class but it is what it is every single guy is graduating man adios guys best of luck in life do some good things for the society if there's one thing i have a request for my house needs to have a recycling bin for some reason they only pick up trash they don't pick up recycling so if any of you guys could try and figure that out that'd be nice thank goodness for the transfer portal man look at all these good players especially david ojegby this guy looks like an absolute animal the rest of you guys though are pretty solid players they'll definitely start for us but you're gonna have to sit out for a year because the old ncaa rolls the signing day strategy is pretty obvious we want these three kitty cats who really don't need Darius Harper because we already have two wide receivers committed same with Devontae Hall we already have three tackles committed so the defensive line really really needs to be addressed so now we got Darius Harper I didn't put any points into him so I'll gladly take that did get Devontae Hall though so adios man but the rest of the guys we put points into we got so all in all really good signing day so for our recruiting class man it's definitely solid we only signed 15 guys which I wish I could have signed like 20 but coach Bobby he does not have that many like coach XP points so was kind of limited but he tried his best but team tech Lindbergh. It sounds Russian to me, especially the first name. I'm sure he's gonna be good here, though. Aluwale Deer. I mean, there's some really good names in this class. Jalen Gore looks really, really good. 6'7", 275. Definitely gonna be an offensive alignment, probably. Also, Nate Parks. Demetrius Lovett. Like, we did a really good job this class. 92nd class of the country. Uh, we got 19 three stars. We probably have at least, like, 50 plus walk-ons because every single guy graduated. So, I'm excited to see what new walk-ons we got. Unfortunately, there was no good walk-ons, of course. You know, just no my luck. So, that was pretty depression. But the team, honestly, I don't even know how to compare it to the team last year. It's pretty comparable so we'll probably suck a lot this year again which is expected tj ellis is gonna be the quarterback this year 64 overall 55 speed like he is just not very good at football i'm gonna try and find like a really good quarterback this recruiting cycle that's like my biggest goal this season and for the rest of this video i'm gonna be playing washington every single year because they are in state and i feel like that could be a fun rivalry to have and for the rest of our schedule it's just not very challenging i scheduled every single fcs team possible so we'll see how things go oh and 348 overall there's not much to it man we just suck lost to two fcs schools both were blowouts too and then watch to be a 70 to 7 oh man home game against san jose state they're actually pretty good so this will probably be a murder but we'll try our best and for this game against san jose state we have seven guys visiting i mean guys look at it this way every single one of you guys even though you're in high school right now you'd start for us okay so the playing time is there i mean we're not playing that bad i guess we're down six nothing and we head up to a field goal so that's a w my book yeah, they're gonna make it, but we're only down nine, so not too bad. Thank you, guys. So you guys picked the perfect week to be somewhat competitive. We're only down five. Things aren't looking too bad. I really want to run commit, but I don't know if that's, like, the smart approach. I should have ran commit. Dang it, dude. Things are starting to fall apart, man. We're down 19. If we do not get a stop right here, it's definitely game over. Yeah, they're passing. Don't do something smart, dude. How is he so up? Yeah, we just, we're just so bad, man. This game's over. Oh, at 12, things were just not pretty when we played football, man. We didn't even score 100 points this year. I mean, it was awful. Dude, we almost gave up 600 points in defense to me just nothing went well i'm really just looking for any close games dude oh fcs midwest only lost by six got killed by fbs generic got killed by vandy by 50 dude oh man that's so you know things are 
bad. You're losing to Vandy by 50 points. Ugh. Well, the good news is we found our quarterback of the future, Sean Myrtle. I think it's how you say it. It's definitely an odd way to spell it. I I'd expect it to be like Myrtle, like the beach, but either way, the rest of the class looks pretty good so far. It's not as many commits as last year, which is pretty unfortunate, but there's some pretty good quality. Every single player is going to be back for next year. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's hard to be worse, so. Dang it, dude. I really wanted the transfer portal to be good again this year, but we're picking up Jimmy Ferguson. I mean, I guess I'll take him. He's smart. Just like last year, we're only going after the guys that we're leading for. I feel like that's just the smartest way. Got to make sure we get the guys that are like guaranteed. Perfect. We got all three guys we wanted, so really happy about that, but these three guys, we knew we wouldn't get them, so goodbye. So this is the second signing class for Coach Bobby, and honestly, dude, this class has got a good amount of quality. It's just there's not much like people. There's only 14 commits, which is unfortunate. Wish you got like 20, but it is what it is. I still like the class. Brewer Ani looks really good. Sean Myrtle, you know about him. August Jones, Joseph Balus, Michael Langan, Mark Moore, 6'6", 227 linebacker. Love seeing that. 109th class of the country. I mean, it's just not good, man. We're going backwards to hopefully go forwards. That's the idea right now. Still far from great. I mean, the good news is that our transfers are going to be able to play this year, so we got that going for us. But yeah, the team is still not too great. Sean Myrtle's the quarterback this year. He's going to get thrown in the fire. I don't think he'll be great, but I'm hoping for the best. And in the backfield, we have a really good duo with BJ Harris and Mike Sharp the second. Like, these two are young as well. I mean, junior and a sophomore, so we're going to have them for at least a couple more years, so that's nice. We're 1-9, to nine, but we're up to a 70 overall, so that's not exactly what I was hoping for. I was hoping we'd have like a couple more wins, but I guess not. Yeah, we just were not very good. I mean, we had some close games against UAB. Troy was close, but we lost to FCS East and FCS Midwest. So we're 1-2 and two against FCS schools this year, man. Just not good. I mean, some good news is that we have four commits in the class. The sad side is, though, that we only have four commits in the class. There's only 13 guys on our board. I don't think we're going to get every single guy, so it's going to be another small recruiting class, which is just not what we want. This week, we got FBS Generic. I don't really understand how we keep losing to FCS schools, but right here, it's got to stop, man. I don't have the answers, guys. We're down seven. They're going to kick up this field goal. I doubt they shank it. I wish that. This is not good, dude. We're down 10 now. Still trail it down three. If we have any chance of winning, guys, we need to get a stop right here. They could not get a first down. There's no way they're running, right? Yep, yeah, it's pass. Okay, we can now let them convert this. Oh! That's really bad. That is really bad. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's definitely game over, isn't it? Well, you can still hope for like a fumble or something. That's really how they're going to score. Please don't. Oh my god, this is horrible, man. We just suck. I mean, at least I guess we beat FCS West the last game of the year to finish 2-10, and 10, so. Hooray! We got some new commits in the class, though. Reggie Pegas? I don't know how you say that. Bu Schaefer, I'm looking for, as you know about him, Sean Murphy. There's not gonna be as many commits to this class, which is really unfortunate, but there is a decent amount of quality. Two guys graduate. We won't miss either of them. I mean, we'll probably miss a Luo Deer. If anything, he was a very, very big intimidation factor coming off the bus, dude. He's 6'7", 292. Just a Goliath of a human being. This is so much better than the transfer class last year, Jared Davis, 74 overall from North Carolina. Also, Nick Eckerd, 73 overall from Texas A&M. I mean, it just must be my lucky day, man. Coach Bobby's got to be happy. No way around it, Coach Bobby. We sucked on the recruiting trail this year, dude. Only signed nine guys. I mean, the bright side is like nobody left us, but I really need to overhaul this roster and signing nine guys is really not going to do that. But I mean, these guys are all good players though, which is nice. But Reggie Pegas, his last name sounds like some like Greek mythological like horse or something. A Pegas. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Hunter Fry, Bu Schaefer, you guys know about these guys. Like there's some seven. 70 plus overalls in this class. It's not too bad. I was worried about that, dude. We finished with the second worst class of the country. It's just not good, man. Early training results are in, man. There's a lot of progression. I mean, like I said, it's hard for us to get much worse. This team looks a lot better, though. I'm really hopeful we can, like, somehow, like, not lose to a million FCS schools this year. That feels like a pretty good goal. Sean Merrill's gonna be the quarterback this year. Like I said, man, when he's, a, like, a senior or junior, he'll be pretty good, but I'm really excited about Hunter Fry because he'd be able to get redshirted, too, so he's gonna be really good in the future. When it comes to the rest of the team, though, we have two studs on defense with David Ojegby. Yeah, he's from Clemson. He was the transfer. And also Patem Tecklenburg, the Russian. They're both very, very good. And they both play a defense. So I'm just going to assume the defense is going to have to carry the offense this year. Started 4-3, but trust me, guys, looks can be deceiving. I don't think that any of our wins are very impressive. So don't get your hopes up. Lost to Washington by 13, so that game is more competitive. But yeah, every single win was against an FCS school. And then we lost to FCS East and Bowling Green. So two yucky losses, too. I guess the good news is our recruiting board has started pretty decently. You got two really good commits, so good quality right there. But just like the last couple years, man, there's not much quality. Quantity. Only got five commits so far, which is not as much as I was hoping for, but when it comes to the rest of the board, we should be able to get more commits this cycle, so I'm happy about that. All right, Coach Bobby, we play Colorado State, the Rams at home. It's a rain game, too. They're not that great, so we could win this game, but knowing us, we'll probably lose. Ooh, the Rams scored first. Good for them, but yeah, we're gonna score a touch right here. We're gonna tie this bad boy up. I mean, I'd imagine this would be a touchdown, right? Mathematically, it looks like it lines up. See, yep, I knew it, baby cakes. Let's go. Tie game. Goodness, guys, what happened? We're down 14, and they have the both the goal line things, which is not looking good. Come on, defense. Why is everybody getting pancaked? Yeah, that is just way too easy. We are so bad, man. Okay, guys, do we have any hope of winning this game? 
We need to recover the sound side kick. I just mowed my lawn. I feel like I deserve this. Come on, no. Don't deserve it, apparently, man. Yeah, this one's definitely over. Just not a good record this year, man. I was really hoping for, like, a big uptick, and, uh, I mean, we doubled our win total, so we got that going for us, I guess. Lost to UTSA. Got smacked by Southern Miss in uh, South Alabama, though. They lost by 10 to Florida Atlantic. Our only FBS win this video was against Arizona, and that was year one when we were, like, a 50 overall. I just don't really understand what's going on in this video, to be completely honest with you. Only two guys graduating again, BJ Harris and James Gillespie. I mean, they're both solid players. It sucks they're gonna have to leave us, but they're on to greater things. Signing day is always so stressful, man. Trevor Hogman, Perry Bars, Trey Watson. Really want those three guys. Also Montez McNair. We should be able to get him, but Rodell Johnson, if we don't get him, we don't get him, but we're leaning for him, so it'd be nice. Of course, too. We missed out on Trevor and Trey Watson. Also, Rodell's guy. He's going to Ball State. Like, this signing day sucked. Signing day once again, and it's literally like the class last year and the year before. Like, we're just not signing that many guys. Not that many people are interested in us. I think that's pretty obvious why it's that way, but it's unfortunate, but Coach Bobby's been trying his best. Malik Sanders looks like the quarterback of the future. Easily the best quarterback recruit we've got in this video. 6'2", 230 scrambler. He's a stud. Also, Evan Cotton, 6'2", foot 185 dominique ek he looks good from omaha nebraska perry bars jordan hansford like there's some decent players we finished in the triple digits for recruiting again this year you know we were not in last place so at least we got that going for us look at the team for this season coach bobby i tell you what man i think five or six wins is pretty obtainable knowing us will probably fall short but you know what man i think that we can make that happen i really do believe that shots back at quarterback i think it's his third year starting so i mean he should be pretty decent this year at least i hope and on the defensive side of the ball we have a really good pass rush to us there with alex Bray, 6'4", 267 from Chesterfield, Missouri. And also David Ojek, B6'4", 255. He's a 95 overall. I'm really happy he didn't have to clear for the draft because if he would have done that, we would have been screwed. One would start with the Bodogs, uh, 88 overall team this year, dude. There's no reason why we should not be able to make a bull game this year. There's just no way. Beat Washington, that's a shocker. Then we lost to Navy, so a little bit of a letdown right there. But that Washington win, that is a big W for us. Her recruiting board early on is pretty decent. You know, it was a lot better like last week, but I had to reset it because all the guys that I wanted to get, everybody else was leeching off of us and they found him too, so that was pretty sad. But yeah, these guys are pretty decent, so I'm happy with the board so far. On the road this week, we're playing Minnesota. They're actually a pretty solid team. They're like a 90 overall. We're an 88, so we could pull off the upset. We'll see. You know, some people wouldn't go for this, but Sean Myrtle and me, we live life in the fast lane. There it is. We're getting there. See, I told you, man. Confidence, boys. Romel Gervasi. Things have gone downhill pretty quickly, man. We're down 14. We're about to be down 17. I mean, maybe we can block the kick or something. Jump over it, Spider-Man. Here for it. Ah, no, did not jump over it. They made it. Come on, Sean. We're down 17, man. We need to convert this fourth down. Come on, boys. Let's see what you're made of. R1, can I throw that? No, 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 I can't, dude. God dang it, dude. It started so strong, and then, like, the second half, we just fell off a cliff, dude. Ugh. I'm starting to think this team's cursed or something. I don't know how he finished 5-7. and seven. Maybe the campus is located in, like, an ancient burial ground or something. I have no idea. Whatever it is, dude, it needs to be fixed stat. Beat Nevada lot. Got killed by Western Kentucky and New Mexico. Beat FCS Southeast. Got smacked by Nebraska. FC, dude, why are we keep losing to FCS schools, man? Then we got smacked by Baylor. Ended the season beating UNLV and Temple, though. For the commits to the class, it's been pretty decent. I'm happy with, like, the quality. Quality is just, once again, man, the quantity is just is not great. Like, Coach Bobby, he's really struggled as a recruiter since his overall is not that high as a coach because we keep losing games. Maybe we won more, he'd be a high overall coach, but no, we keep losing. Dude, I can't catch a break this video, dude. Malik Sanders has transferred to Army. I mean, that just sucks so much. At least David Ojegby and Batim Tecklenburg, the Russian, are both going to get drafted. I still cannot believe that we did not make a bowl game with both these guys on defense. And for the graduates, I mean, there's some good players here. It just didn't seem to translate to wins on the field, which still, I just cannot comprehend what went wrong last year. I just don't know. I mean, I just can't catch a break this video, dude. We were leading for all four of these guys, and we ended up not getting a single one, man. Ugh. But for the guys that we do have committed, I'm pretty happy with the class. You know, we got a new quarterback, Alan Washington, because we needed a quarterback now because freaking Malik decided to transfer, so it wasn't very nice for him. But all in all, I feel like it was a pretty good signing class. I'm happy with how it went. Just wish we could get more guys. Hopefully next year, Coach Bobby. But we picked up Daquan B. Shelton. I like his name. Also, Alan Washington, 6'6", 210. He's going to be Malik's replacement. He's really, really good. Dylan Taylor, Deion Johnson. Like, there's some studs in this class, but this Deion guy, 6'5", dude. Good God. 79th class in the country, 17 three stars. Really hope that some walk ons that we got. Are pretty good because I've had no luck today, man. So I'd really appreciate that EA. I'll be completely honest. I do not think this team's better than the team that we had last year, but knowing us, that means we'll probably win 10 games this year. At least I hope so, man. I just want to get in the Mountain West, bro. Like, I don't think I'm asking for much right now. Can we just go above 500? Sean, it's your fourth year start, man. You have never had a winning season as a college football player. You need to rewrite the script this season, man. I really need you to go out there and just be special. Protecting Sean is Demetrius Lovett, left tackle, 85 overall, 6'5, 335. He's a big boy. And then our right tackle, it's Brewer Ani, 6'4, 335. 
231, another big boy, 91 overall. They're two of our best players, and they're both protecting Sean, so the offensive line should not be an issue this year. And the schedule for the season is just not challenging at all. There's just no reason we should not be able to beat, like, Ball State, Charlotte, Hawaii. Like, come on, man. Just asking you to beat six of these teams, guys. I think we can do it. Thank you, dude. There's some signs of life. We're four and three, you know, doing a lot better than we were last year, even though the team's worse, like I said. So that's just a little weird. Lost to the Huskies week one, got an FCS win, then we beat Memphis. Lost to Ball State, but we beat James Madison. I mean, all these teams suck. Like, there's not really any impressive wins. I mean, Memphis was ranked in the preseason, but they're not really that good now. We got the Rainbow Warriors at home this week, guys. Let's try and get the five wins, and we'll be one win away from the bowl game. That's the goal this season. So far, man, it ain't going great. I don't know what's going on with the offense. They only have 21 yards, and it's the second quarter already, man. They're gonna kick it with this field goal. I really hope they miss it, but knowing how this usually goes, yeah, they're gonna make it, so that sucks. Well, hey, at least we scored a touchdown now, but they're down at the goal line, so it's not looking too great. Come on, defense. Step up, make a play! Or just run right past them. That's always an option, dude. Ugh. Okay, boys, we really need to stop right here. We're only down seven. There's still hope. We just need to step up right here, defense. Run commit. Yeah, there we go. Tackles, please. Or mi Oh, dear God. Dude, we are just so bad. I don't know what it is, man. It's been like five years in, and we just cannot seem to make any progress. Dude, this game's over, man. We lost to the freaking Rainbow Warriors. Finished 6-6, six and six, so sit it right at 500. I'm kind of worried we're not going to make a bowl game because we had a win over FCS school earlier in the year, so we'll see what happens. Finished the season 2-2, two and two, losing to Louisiana Tech and Florida Atlantic, but we did beat East Carolina and USF, even though they're both really, really bad. But that win against an FCS school, that worries me, dude. We might get shafted out of bowl eligibility. Even if we don't make the bowl game, the good news is this recruiting class is shit it up to be the best one yet. We have a lot of 70 plus overalls, like they're low 70s, but there's some really good guys in this class. So I'm really happy with how it's gone. And we have a lot of quantity in this class for the first time in forever, man. Quality and quantity. Really happy with how Coach Bobby did. Yeah, not much to say, man. We did not make a bowl game this year. Very, very upset about that. It's definitely unfortunate. Sad to say, is a full effect. Brewer, Ani, the Amishman's gonna go get drafted in the NFL. Best of luck, my friend. For the rest of you guys, man, I don't know what to say. I thought that you guys would lead us to the Mount West to the bare minimum, and we did not even make a bowl game or get to the Mount West, man. I don't know what else to say to you guys, man. Just a big disappointment. Exciting days about a commence on Landon York, dude. We really want you, dude. Yorkie, uh, JD Hudson, we don't really want you as bad, especially Nico Cochran. We don't need you at all, dude. You're only 67 overall. We really want these two, especially Landon Yorkie. We want this guy bad. Picked up Landon and JD Hudson, so all in all, man, a very successful signing day. This signing class is definitely one that we needed, man. Got a lot of new humans, 17 commits, man. Really happy with how it went. We got some high overall guys, some decent developmental guys as well. So all in all, just very, very happy. Landon York, he's really good. Charles Rice Jr., I like him a lot. Desmond Nippe, I think it's Aaron, maybe Nipple, I don't know. Ben Baker, Houston Satone, 6'4", 234. That's just a terrifying human specimen. Also, Bu Clem, he looks really good from Alabama. 97 class the country. Oh, we're up to two stars. Stars, finally. Let's go, man. We finally got a T prestige star. I love it. I really hope this is the team that gets us over the hump, man, because this team looks a lot like the one last year. It's just there's going to be a new head man at quarterback. Sean Myrtle, he just was not the guy, dude. I don't know what it was about him. He just was not like that. Hunter Fry's going to be the quarterback. Junior Redshirt, he's waited his turn, all right? He's going to be a good player for us, but if he starts sucking, Alan Washington, he's going to get in there. He's 6'6", 212, 66 speed. He has way more potential than Hunter does, so we'll see how the season goes. I mean, the offense should have plenty of firepower. Got Corin Stewart, 6'194, 88 overall, and also John Russell, 5'10", 225, big boy, 86 overall. So these two should definitely help out the offense. Oh, thank God, dude. 7-1, so we're definitely gonna make a bowl game this year. It's been far too long, but you know what, boys? We're finally there. Beat Ball State, lost to Washington, but for the rest of our games, we scheduled a bunch of trash, and we beat all the trash. But that's not something we could say in the last two years, so I'm happy about that. For our recruiting, we're really shooting for more quality in this class, so we've already got two commits, so I'm happy about that. Jordan Annie Agambunam, and also Dante Darwin, both 78 and 80 overall. Two very, very good players. But for the rest of our class, there's some decent guys down here. But at the top, there's some studs. Got Rashad Mitchell, Khalif Simpson, Latan Dublanco, Jordan Kelly, Zach Mayer, and also Tommy Bajorson. So if we can get some of these guys, man, this class could be really good at the top. I think it was Sean Myrtle. That was the reason why we suck so much, man. It's the only thing that makes sense. He was a four-year starter, and every year that he was a starter, we never made a bowl game. I'm going to blame it on Sean Myrtle. It's not Coach Bobby's fault. Either way, we're playing Arizona this week. Let's go get a dub. Bad as I want to go for this, man. We're going to kick this. I'm going to play it smart. It's only the second quarter. There's no reason to be that aggressive this early. Yep, there we go. Up and through. Only down one now. I'm telling you, man. Hunter Fry is that guy, dude. Sean Myrtle must have just sucked so much, man. We're up three. I mean, the offense is doing its thing right now, man. And it keeps doing its thing. This thing. Oh, it's just going so beautifully. We're up three. All we need to do is score a touch right here. And this baby will be over. It's a gift. Touchdown. Yes, go. Yep, baby. That's game of a constant. Let's go, boys. GG's in the chat. Finished 11 to 1. I don't know, man. I could not tell you. This team's like worse than the last two teams we've had. And the last two teams we had didn't even make a bowl game. So I don't know. Finished beating Marshall, UTSA, and UC. 
UCF, so I'll take it, man. And for the recruiting trail, we picked up some new commits. Got Latan DeBlanco now, Dante Darvin, Rashad Mitchell's in the class, so I'm really happy that it's going, man. We got some lower overall guys down here, so all in all, pretty content with it. We got Tulsa in the New Mexico Bowl. Definitely an underwhelming bowl game. I was hoping to play somebody more, like, scary, but it is what it is. Let's just go get the dub. I really hope we blow them out, man. We're up 7-0 early on, so things are definitely trending in that direction. Just need another touch right here. There we go. He's hoping. Can you get the end zone for me, Eckerd? Come on. You won the... Yeah, there we go. He won the Mackey Award, man. Nick Eckerd, he's a stud. Job, Nicky. Still 14 in the third quarter. Everything's going perfectly to plan. Just keep doing what we're doing. Can this be a touch right here? Just hand it off. Get in there, God, dude. We're dominant right now. I love it, Corn Stewart. Let's go. So far, man, everything is going beautifully. We're up 18 points. Another touch right here, and this one is Sinar. Come on, Hunter. Well, there it is. There it is. We're get some separation, man, which is so good this season. I don't know what happened, man, but we just figured things out. Let's go. Not what I wanted to see. Charles Rice is going to transfer. So is Houston Satone, the 6'4 monster. Just not happy about these two guys leaving the program at all. We got some decent players graduating too, but the good news is there's not that many guys graduating. The team next year is probably going to be really good, dude. It just would have been nice to have Charles and Houston. Side days here, Coach Bobby. We're going 5K for the top three guys that we really, really want. Sam White, sorry, man. We just really don't need you. Especially if we could get Tommy Boys. So we're going to try and get these three cats. Hope for the best. No one wanted Sam White, apparently, and he's not going anywhere, so goodbye, Sam. Could not be happier, man. We got Justin Miner, Zach Mayer, and Tommy Bajorsid, so signing day was a big success. So this is our signing class. The coach probably did a great job, man. We got an 80 overall, 278, to 76, to 76, 74. Like, there's some good quality in this class. There's some depth as well. Like, I'm really happy with how it went. Jordan Anya and Begnum. You guys know about him. He's really good. Laton de Blanco. Sweet name, Laton. It sounds like a planet. Also got Dante Darvin, 65208, Tommy Bajorsid, like, there are some really, really good athletes in this class. Zach Mayer, 6'7", 220, just an absolute freak. Just goes to show that the recruiting rankings are overrated. Man, 106th class of the country. I definitely think we landed like a top 50, top 25-ish class. We're up to a three-star school as well, so really happy about that. Another year, Coach Bobby, and there's no reason this team should not be able to win the Mountain West. Like, this team's not like some sort of like world beat or anything. Like, they're not going to go out there and beat Alabama or Georgia, but they're going to go out there and hopefully win the Mountain West. Allen's going to be the starter this year. He's up to an 89 overall, 6'6", 212, 67 speed. I'm so excited to see what this kid could do. I was really hoping Hunter would be the starter because of how good he did last season, but he only went up plus two overall, and Allen went up plus seven, so I mean, it just makes more sense. And he's younger as well, so he's got more potential. And for defense, we have a really good cornerback duo with Logan Frazier. He's 221 pounds as a cornerback. That is just a genetic anomaly if I've ever seen one. And they also got Javon Allen, 5'10", 201. He's very, very good as well. Yep, exactly what you want to see. Projected finish first place in the Mountain West Conference, at least in our division. 90 overall team. The rest of the Mountain West is just not very good, dude. Every team fell off a cliff, except for Boise. I mean, they're decent, but yeah, we should be able to win it. First game of the year is Washington at home. They're number four in the country. This is going to be an absolute dogfight, man. I cannot wait. Let's go, boys. I got a good feeling about this play. Should I be right about that? Cut it back. Here we go. Yep. See, I touch Dwayne Will Hati. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Oh, my gosh. We're trailing now down by seven. I mean, at least it's not too insurmountable. We just see a good touch right here. Maybe I'm just a little too confident, but I got a good feeling about this play. I think I'm in enough time to get some right here. I told you. Let's go. Oh, that was so tight. Let's go, Desmond King. Oh, that was stressful. I don't care. Tight game at half. Let's go, boys. Do not like this one bit, man. We're down three. We cannot let them get a first down right here. That could not happen, guys. See, the question is, are they going to pass right here or run? I think they're going to pass. Yeah, so no run commit. Smart Tanner. Come on, defense. Pick. Oh! Go get six. Go get six. Oh, my gosh. Actually, do we have a chance to get six? Oh, uh, my gosh. Let's go. Oh, that whoever their quarterback was, he's got to feel like an absolute idiot. All right, defense. Just do what we did right there. Get another stop, and it's GG's. Come on, dude. Just throw us another pick six. Do us a solid. Oh, I got clicked off. Not good. Not good. Defense. Please pick. Touchdown. No touchdown. Let's go. Oh, my God. That was horrifying, dude. He was, like, literally, like, an inch away from the end zone. Let's go, man. Coach Bobby, we just escaped by the hair on our chinny chin chin. I think that's something that people say. Oh, my God. Azeko Davis committed after the win, dude. 90 overall. And then Zach Nutter. 6'8", <laughs> 296. Two really good offensive linemen, especially Azeko or Isako. I don't know what it is, dude. He's a 90 overall. He's going to come in and start immediately for us, man. I could not wait. Finished 10 and 2. I think that was the exact same record we had last year. So, I can't really complain about that. 7-1 in the Mountain West. It looks like really good points for and really good points against. Dude, we lost to Akron after we beat Washington. That makes no sense. We went on a little win streak. Then we lost to San Diego State. Mm, okay, yeah. Our schedule is not very daunting at all. It's the Mountain West, so kind of how I expected it to go. For our recruiting class, it is low a dead, dude. Oh my gosh. This guy's last name's Devontae Nip. <laughs> but yeah, this class is loaded, man. It's easily our best class we've had this entire video. Chance for revenge the Mountain West Conference title game. We really lost to this team a 79 overall. 
Ugh, just disgraceful. Let's go get revenge. Maybe they are a kryptonite, dude. We're down 7 at the early on, but there's no need to fear. We got this. Oh, wow, that's actually a bomb. Holy sexy, let's go, tie game, boys. Here we go. So we finally have a lead, but we have a really good kicker. If you guys remember a couple years ago, we recruited a really good one. So we should be able to nail this field goal and get a six-point lead right here. Come on, he's got the leg for it, doesn't he? Oh, yes, he does. Oh, my gosh. That guy might go to the NFL this year. I really hope he does it because that guy's got an absolute boot on him. Gonna go for it. I mean, what's the difference between being up 13 and being up 16? But there's a big difference if we can touch right here. Oh, God, look at the run box, too. It's gonna be way too easy. See, yeah, I told you, baby cakes. It's game over. Good job, Dwayne. Finally, some hardware, man. We got ourselves a Mount West Conference title. It doesn't have much value. I'm sure if you send it to, like, a pawn shop or something, you won't get much out of it. But it means a lot to Coach Bobby and the boys. That's all that matters. Finally, a fun bowl game. SRA. So that's Vegas Bull against Utah. Let's go get a dub, boys. Really strong start for us. We're already at four points. And we have the ball back in the red zone. Things are going great. Alan, make a throw. Oh my god, that was so cute. Dude, Alan Washington, 6'6". Six, six. He's just an absolute stud, man. Good job, Evan Catton. Gosh, dang it, guys. I was really hoping we make a statement today, man. They're tied up in the fourth quarter now, and they have the ball at the goal line. Things are looking too great. Come on, tackles. Ta oh, it's a keeper. We got juked out, dude. That guy's really fast. Of course, man, we're in this situation. We need a touch right here, Allen. And then once we get the touchdown, we're going for two. Yeah, you know, personally, if you're asking me, I am a little bit worried. Maybe I shouldn't be. Is that a touchdown? Come on, good it, God, you're a large human specimen. There we go. Okay, Eric. Two point conversion here, Allen. It's your time to shine, buddy. Triangle. Triangle? Triangle and go, yeah! Such a great pull game win, man. Oh, my God. Coach Bobby, I don't know how they lifted him up so easily, man. But that is of credit to the strength and conditioning staff. Let's go, man. Bull game dub. Emmanuel's transferring. He's only 68 overall. I mean, honestly, it's his loss. He's not staying here. Adios, man. We got Alan Washington, Alan Mitchell, also Evan Cotton, and Dominique E.K. all coming back for another year. So these four guys are going to be very, very good next season. Super duper excited for him. We got two guys getting drafted. Logan Frazier, the 221-pound corner, then also Buse Schaefer. These guys are both pretty solid players. Best of luck the NFL. For the guys graduating, you know, none of you guys were that high of an overall, like 95 or anything like that, but you got some high 80s. I mean, you guys were quality players. We have to replace you, but I think we'll be all right. Signing day has arrived, and man, it is such an awesome class. Coach Bobby, you gotta be so proud of what you put together, man, because I would be proud as well. Isaco Davis, you guys know about him. Matt Wright the third, know about him. Zay Tent, man, also really good receiver. Eric Adams, the Devontae Nip. I cannot get over it. He's got a cool last day. About Antoine Purcelli. We got some really good receivers, some good athletes, some good defensive alignment like top to bottom is a really good haul top 25 class five four stars 15 three stars we're up another star in t prestige so every year we just keep moving up man i love it trading results have come in and these boys are ready for war this season only plus three for alan walsh did pretty disappointing there only plus two for evan cotton as well but i mean the rest of the guys did pretty well progressing this offseason so i can't be too upset i mean there's no reason why this team should not be able to win another mountain west conference title so that's the goal this season alan's back at quarterback apparently he's an all-american he's got that star behind him too so good for him six six two twelve you guys know about him. He was really good last year. I'm excited to see what kind of jump he makes this season. And our receiver room is absolutely loaded, dude. Got Evan Cotton, Deion Johnson, Jordan Hansford. It's easily your best position group on the team. He also got a young buck and Zay Tetman. So I'm really excited to see what the receivers could do this season. Stellar season, man. 11 1. We're somehow ranked top five in the country. I don't really know who you lost to, but we went undefeated in the Mountain West. Had really good points for and points against him. I mean, we were just probably dominating everybody. We're, oh, Washington by three. That was our only loss. I mean, every other game was a blowout, though, dude. None of these games are even close at all. Oh, man, I love it. Just domination. On the recruiting side of things, Ashawn Lawrence was like the highest target on our board, and he is going to Ohio State, so not very happy about that. Also losing out on Max Fettner, but not really the end of the world. Missing out on this guy. He's not that great. For the recruits that are committed in the class, though, it's pretty good. I don't think it's as good of a class as one last year, but it's pretty comparable. It's probably our second best class, maybe the third best class we've had so far this video. Conference title game against Fresno State. Somehow we're the away team. I don't know exactly how that... Oh, it's because they're undefeated in the Mountain West, too. Ooh, interesting. Can be too tough dogs battling it out let's hope that we come out on top of course i'm going for this dude i'm not no pussy cat i'm not scared we need to assert our dominance this game there we go. See, I told you. See, I ta ha ha Yeah, I knew it, man. Good job, Evan. Man, we are flexing our muscles right now. We're at 14 points in the second quarter. Another touch right here. This thing can get out of hand quick. Honestly, I feel pretty good. I just had some chocolate ice cream. Always puts me in a good mood. See, there we go. I told you I was feeling good. Let's go, boys. John Hansford. Credit to the Bulldogs, man. They're fighting back, but this bad boy's gonna be over after we score right here. Run, Alan, run! 
Dive! Oh, d he just has too much, man. He is just that dog in him. There it is. Coach Bobby hoisted up another Mountain West Conference title. Back-to-back -back years. We're the big dogs of the conference at this point. We're going to move into the Big 12 next year. But who knows, man? We'll see how the playoff goes and the seating and all that. But maybe we'll win the national title this year. I don't know. Uh, well, we slid down to the number five spot. We got to play the uh, Leprechauns in the Fiesta Bowl. So it's PlayStation, my favorite console. So I can't wait. Hasn't been the best start for us, but it is early. Only the second quarter. There's no cause for concern. We got this. Okay, it's a keeper. Allen, run right past him. I love it. Six, six, two. Oh my god, he's so fast. I mean, he's not that fast, but, you know, he looks tall and, and strong and fast, so he's kind of scary to tackle. Still down to man. We just cannot get over the hump right now, man. We gotta make it a one-possession game right here. X, R1, circle. Oh, that was a tight window. Right between two humans. Let's go, Zay Tentman. That's a true freshman right there, too. Stud buffing alert. Okay, guys, here it is. We're down three. Very intense situation. That's why I'm talking a little bit lower, because I'm kind of scared. Alan, I need you to get a touch right here, man. We got this. We got this. R1. Oh my god, is that inbounds? Please don't cheat me. Let's go. Okay. Do not choke defense. No Hail Marys. Let's get all the tall giraffes back there and let's play some defense. Do not get mossed. That's all I ask. If we get like a sack, that'd be like really helpful. Okay. No, no sack. Come on, defense. Oh, thank the heavens. Let's go, boys. Bulky W. Fiesta Bull PlayStation. Let's go, man. Uh, it's always a great time seeing Coach Bobby hoist it up. He's a large human. Big boy. I think it was Ice Cube that said today was a good day. Well, today was a good day. Dion's coming back. So is Alan Watch today. I'm just super duper stoked. And it's easily the most draft picks we've had this entire video. I'm happy for all you guys. Even our kicker and our punter are going to get drafted. So all in all, man, really, really good offseason. There's really not that many guys graduating either. So the team next year should be pretty stout, especially considering we're going to be in the Big 12. So we're going to need to be as good as possible. Another Sunny day in the books, and like I said, man, it's a pretty good one. It's not as good as the one last year, unfortunately, but there's still plenty of studs, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Jerry Harrison Hunty, he's got two last names apparently. 6'4, 259, really good offensive guard. Also, Lucas Brown, like him a lot. David Boothy, uh, Duke Henry, Derek Kramer, like, there's some solid guys. Another top 25 class, I think last year we were like 24, so we're up to 17, 7 4 stars, 12 3 stars, man. Just keep moving up. We got another star in team prestige, too, so that's great. This is the squad for the Big 12 and the offense. You guys can see, dude, our best one is that. Six players are all on the offensive side of the ball. Like, the offense should have no problem this season. It's the defense I'm really worried about, man. The defense is not as good. I mean, it's still a solid group, but it's not anything stellar. Allen's back at quarterback for us once again. 97 overall, 6'6", six six, 213 pounds. There's not much more else to say about the guy. Like, he's an absolute animal. He's been very, very good for us. I love him here. As for the rest of the offense, got Isako Davis, Deion Johnson, Dylan Habanowski, Dylan Taylor, Matt Wright the third. Like, our offense is so stacked. Domination, boy. Let's go. 9-0. 6-0 in the cavern. It's a little 6-9 action right there. 352 points scored. 196 given up. So the defense has picked up its end of the bargain. So really happy with how it started. Any close schemes. Double digits. Double digits. Ooh, single digits against New Mexico. Double digits. Double digits. Double digits. Double digits. Man, love to see it. Double digits against the one ranked team we played. I mean, we're just doing great. Recruiting is just so awesome right now. Dude, look at all these good players, man. Oh, I, the things I would have done to get these guys like in year two or year three, man. We were struggling so much earlier. Yeah, but right now, it is just so easy for Coach Bobby and company. Home game against UCF. They're the number two team in our division, so I guess they're decent competition. Either way, I feel confident. Started pretty strong. I mean, we're up eight points, but they have the ball at the goal line. So, defense, we need to stop right here. Do we run commit? You know, I'm going to run commit. You only live once. Y'all up. Okay, not a good idea. I dove too. That was idiotic. Yeah, that nothing right there went correctly. That was just stupid, Tanner. Here we go, guys. We got our lead back. We just see a good touch right here. Make a two-possession game. Be in a really good spot. We got this. We got this. Oh, yep. Circle. That's just too easy. I don't know what that defender was doing right there. He's lost in La La Land or something. Let's go. I'll take touch in. I'll give UCF this, man. The Knights are battling. We're still only up seven, but if we score a touch right here, I have a lot of confidence this will be GG's. Oh, see, there it is. See, I told you, man. God, we have a fight. Okay, I don't care how it happened. Dante, you're on the naughty list, but I'll take the touchdown. Might have been an orthodox touchdown, but that should be GG's. 12-0, undefeated regular season, man. Just screech out everyone. 9-0 in the conference. Played nine conference games, man. Really good points for, as you can see. Good points against. I mean, our offense compared to everybody else in the Big 12, man, which is so much better. Finish the season beating Arizona State and then Oklahoma State, it looks like. I mean, just two blowouts right there, man. Like, our offense has just been so good. Big 12 title game. We're at home playing Cincinnati. I'm excitement, man. Let's go get a dub, Coach Bobby. Square, it's a lot of yards. Oh my God, is that gonna be a touchdown? Tevin, yes, get in there, Zay! Let's go, Zay! 
just been domination so far, man. We're up 14 points in the third quarter. I mean, I can't complain, dude. This is great. I kind of want to pass, but at the same time, this red box is just so small. I feel like it should be a touchdown. Yeah, have it out, Ski! Get in there, buddy. Let's go. See, I told you, man. I said a sneaky suspicion. We're up 21. They're holding on for dear life right here. Just going to stop here in this fourth down defense, and it is game over. Come on, boys. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. He's getting forever throw. It doesn't matter. Pick. Good job. Interception. Well, we didn't get a celebration because I don't think there's a Big 12 title in the actual game. That would make sense, yeah, so. Either way, we got the dub, so who cares? First round against Army, the triple option. I'm just not looking forward to this at all, man. Let's cross your fingers and pray. Please be a gift to Habanowski. Of course, it's a keeper. Come on, Allen! Show off your wheels! Oh, you just barely got in there, buddy. I love it. The defense is doing their part today, boys. We're up seven still. Come on, Allen! There it is, X! There we go! Yeah! Dante Damon! Offense and defense are both balling out, man. It's like they have one brain. Like they're twins. Oh, dear. They came back, man. Defense, we need you to step up right here. No touchdowns allowed. I have belief in the squad. Yeah, pick. Pick. What? Or just, wa okay, or just watch the ball go right past your face. That's also something you could do. God dang it, dude. Oh, my God. They missed an extra point. <laughs> Come on. Just recover the onside kick. Oh, man. Their kicker's got to be going through it right now. Come on. Recover. Thank you. Let's go. Oh, man. It might be a Mickey Mouse way to win. We'll see. Well, we're going to have to sell for a field goal because Dylan can not get the first down. So, rather unfortunate, but we have a really good kicker. So, now all we need to do is get a stop defense. Do not get mossed. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. Please, if we tackle them right here, they can't. Oh, there's no way they can even snap off right here, right? There's just no chance. Math. Come on, math. 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 Let's go, math. Yeah. Math with the W, baby. We're on to the natty. Wow. Did not expect to see Virginia Tech, but I'll be honest, I am delighted to see them in the national title game. Gives me a lot more hope. The smart approach would be to take our field goal and get a two-score lead, but nobody's ever called me a smart person for a reason. See, I told you, we got him, baby! It's what you get for being dumb sometimes. Let's go, Zay! Okay, they're battling back, but we're at the goal line. Just get a touch right here. Don't overcomplicate the situation. Come on, Alan. I'm an idiot. Oh, it doesn't do that. Alan is so... He just wiggled and jiggled right there. Let's go, Alan. I was holding my breath because I thought I did the wrong thing, but I did the right thing. Good job, Alan. Oh, my gosh, guys. If we score a touchdown right here, I think it's GG's in the chat. I'm kind of scared, to be honest with you. Can I just roll with Alan? He's not the fastest man in the world, but he does our name to be. Yeah, Alan Washington. Any relation to George? Not possible because different skin colors. Just remembered that. Actually, it could be possible. I don't know. I'm not Ancestry.com. Let's go. Dominant victory for Gonzaga, and the national title is finally here, Coach Bobby. Took us 10 long years, big man but you know what we finally got our netty early on things were really dark man especially that six and six season because there's just no reason that team should have gone six and six but regardless we figured things out and in year 10 we got ourselves a national title is it possible to win a natty the money ball way if you want to find out click the video on the screen i think you'll love it